All right, everyone. So this video, I'll be teaching you guys everything about ICT weekly profile. Okay. Now, these are the things you're going to learn in this video. First, you're going to learn how to come up with the correct weekly direction. In other words, the right direction of the week. Then also, you guys are going to learn ICT weekly power of three. Very, very much important because with that, you can know when the high or low of the week is formed. The day is going to fall because we have five trading days in the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So each of these days has that individual price action so i'm going to show you guys how to know any of the day that the low or the high of the week is going to form because after the low or the high of the week is formed then the rest days is going to continue in alignment with the direction of the week so without wasting much of your time let's get started guys now right here i'm a weekly time frame and we are going to study each of these weekly candles like as i said you need the weekly direction if you want to be profitable trader you must learn how to come up with the right direction of the week very 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 much important because every week has its direction like like this week now this week is appearing to be bearish direction like as i told you guys from the last video i created okay i said we may experience a bearish direction this week and then this week was a bullish direction we traded all these weeks right bullish 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 okay now we want to learn how to come up with this direction of every of this week and it's not going to end here because it's not just enough for you to know the direction okay you have to learn how to engage each of these direction all right that is the entry we are going to talk about those ones okay but first of all we want to know when the high and low of the week is formed for example you can take a look at this week right here this low was formed right here okay which of the day was this low form okay this one the high was formed here which of the day was this high form all right this one the low was formed somewhere around here almost like a monday and it started firing to the upside to here the low of the week was formed on monday and it started firing to the upside right here this is current week candle and the high of the week is almost format on monday but i'm not sure it's done right here because the week is still playing on okay so these are the things we are learning in this video ict weekly power of three how to come up with the weekly direction and and how to know when the low and high of the week is formed and the most important part of this video is how to align your daily direction with your weekly direction because obviously you are definitely going to experience different individual daily direction okay so sometimes it can be in alignment with the weekly direction or it can be against the weekly direction okay now the goal is to know how to engage each of this direction even though it's in alignment or against the direction of the week all right so this is the roadmap of this video okay we are starting with the weekly direction we're going to learn how to know the weekly direction okay then secondly we want to study ict weekly power of three because after the weekly direction the next important thing is weekly power of three you have to know when that low or high of the week should be printed is it going to be done on monday or tuesday or wednesday you shouldn't exceed these three days okay monday tuesday wednesday it has to be one if you guys have watched all those ict weekly profile where you now have tuesday low of the week tuesday high of the week wednesday high of the week wednesday low of the week this video is going to give you guys the framework of how those things are done okay then and low and high of the week like as i said aligning the daily direction with weekly direction you can't skip this part very very much important because it's possible you know your weekly direction but your daily direction is going to frustrate you and i don't want all those things for you guys i want you guys to be successful with every trading week the next thing is entry this entry is going to be in alignment with the daily direction now that's why this video is suitable for all style of traders irrespective of your style of trading scalping day trading swing trading you know intraday trading is going to work for you because all this style of trading also depend on trading direction so let's get started with the weekly direction then next is weekly power of three very very important okay you can't skip this number two number three number four okay you may decide to skip this number one but this two three four very very much important because that is where i see most traders you know find it difficult okay so now regarding the direction of the week we are interested in the individual candles on this weekly time frame okay let me zoom out all right now the individual candle means how is the week going to close is it going to close bullish or going to close bearish very very much important now from since the beginning of august we are me and my mentorship team we have been aiming for bullish week all this while it was just this current week because it's the last week of the month that okay we decide to say okay let's look for a bearish week this week okay let's look for bearish direction this week okay and that is because price have expanded so many days this is how it works there are two types of direction in this market okay either a continuation direction or a reversal direction let me explain what that means you see this year was the year 2023 okay if you take a look at all these candles right here all these bearish candles they kept closing bearish 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 
this is what we call continuation, okay? Because price is closing on a specific direction, okay? Bearish, 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 continuously. Now, it's not by the color of the candle because right here, we saw a green candle here. No, no, no. It's until we see another reversal. That is when we not change the direction. For example, there was a reversal here. After this reversal, then the next consecutive candle should be closing in alignment to the direction of that reversal. That's how this direction work, okay? The market is always 80 to 90% in continuation mode, all right? And then 10 to 20% reversal. What that actually means is that after this reversal here, this is a bullish reversal, you should be looking for only bullish candles on this time frame until there's another reversal, which is which took place right here. How do you know a reversal? A reversal is when price closed below the opening of the previous candle. For example, this is a bullish candle, then this is a bearish candle. So there's already a reversal here. Now, after that reversal, continue on that direction of that reversal continuously. Just like as I explained to you guys right now, there was a bullish reversal here. So just that didn't sound bullish. So we have to keep looking for bullish, you know, candles continuously every week as we come into the market continuously 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 now the next thing we want to talk about is ICT weekly power of three just like I showed you guys on monthly time frame we still need it on weekly time frame and as a matter of fact we still need it on daily time frame so ICT weekly power of three you can't afford to miss this information because I want to show you guys how this thing work on weekly basis now before I talk about the weekly power of three I want to use the next few seconds to give you guys this amazing update that I am very very sure that every one of you watching me right now definitely going to love because over the time many of you guys have asked me in my comment section what pro firm do i trade with and which of the pro firm can i recommend for you guys now i'm using this opportunity to answer that question and i'm going to give you guys so many reasons why you need to work with this pro firm that me and my guys we are trading with right now because right now so many of my students have already gotten account with this pro firm so let me show you guys the update right here okay now the name of the pro firm is fundedness of course i'm going to drop the link in the description part of this video okay now there are so many pro firm out there you know with their different features and different plan but this is one thing that got my interest on this fundedness okay which is this first feature you are seeing right here okay now i'm not sure any other pro firm offer this feature right here that fundedness is offering you can see 15 percent profit share from your challenge fees now let me break it down explain it so that you guys definitely going to understand okay now before i started trading with fundedness pro firm this was my original plan on pro firm account okay and this is the same thing I always give to my mentorship student, right? You see, the way we do profit is after you are done with the evaluation, phase one, phase two, and then you go to the funding stage, your funded account stage. This was my strategy to make sure I get payout from the profit is the moment I get funded on my life account, I'm only aiming for the first 1% of that account or the first 2%. Most times I will go for 1% because I'm trading bigger capital like 100K account or 200K account. So I aim for the first 1% or 2%, meaning I have to trade on that life account to get my first 1% or 2%. Then I request for a payout. Now with this profit, fundedness you don't need that approach okay what that actually means is that the moment you pass your phase one and your phase two they are going to pay you 15 percent of all the money you make from that phase one and phase two meaning your effort is not going to be wasted and trust me this 15 percent is very big as a matter of fact that was the two percent i was aiming if i was trading on the life account from other pro firm for example this is a 200k prop account okay so this is the amount they're going to pay you three thousand nine hundred dollars that is two percent okay this is 100k account one thousand and 950 that's two percent all right so that actually means all i just need to do is pass my face one pass my face two and then i get my first payout and this firm their payout is very very fast as a matter of fact they have made promise to every traders that if they don't get their payout within the first 24 hours of request then they are going to get extra 1000 us dollar on top so that is their promise as a company and as a brand to all their traders there are so many features i love about fundedness which is the reason why i'm trading with them okay and one of the amazing part that i've never talked about is that this firm you can trade with metatrader 5 or metatrader 4 because other firm that we are using we have to use ctrader you know use all these online trading platform though this firm i'm sure they still have all those options but i personally prefer to trade with metatrader 5 come on guys i'm sure you guys love to trade with metatrader 5 all right and they have different type of plan all right different type of plan you know you can go for one step account or two step and one thing i love about this one step account because the other day i was looking at this firm is that they don't have a trading drawdown okay this is very very good for traders all right personally i'm trading on this one step account because there's no trading drawdown this is one this is something i love there are still other account type right here we have stellar light we have evaluation you know and then express so what i'm going to do i've dropped the link in the description part of this video all right and i'm still going to post it on my telegram community so let's get back to what i was teaching you guys on weekly profile okay now we are back to the chat let's complete everything we 
be seeing right here. Now let's talk about ICT weekly power of three. Okay. There are so many reasons why you need to learn this weekly power of three because it helps you to know when like here now the, the low of the week is formed. So at this point, keep firing to the upside. Now for us to understand this weekly power of three properly, I'm going to switch to daily time frame, right? Okay. Now this is what I'm going to do. When I get to daily time frame, I'll be explaining weekly power of three and the low and high of the week together. Okay. Then we'll move to aligning daily direction with weekly direction. And then the last part is the entry part. So this is the daily time frame candles. Okay. Now every week have five different trading days. Okay. Let's assume these are the trading days. All right. So I'm identify this manually without any specific direction okay so let's say this is the trading days monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday now out of these five trading days one of them is going to print the low and high of the week okay now this is how it work guys if any of them prints high and low of the week then i see the power of three has already taken place the most important thing is the direction of the week okay so at this point let's assume the weekly direction is bearish all right let's say the weekly direction is bearish what we need to do is if the weekly direction is bearish all right if the original direction for the week is bearish then we need to go to daily time frame now the next important thing we need to check is how did the previous week candle close on this daily time frame for example you guys know we are if we are interested in this current week price action all right now we come here on daily time frame we look at the close of course this kind of thing should be done weekend all right because the market has already closed so we are interested on friday candle how did friday candle close okay for example this was last week friday it closed bullish okay now my interest is we know the direction of the week, right? The direction of the week is what? Bearish. Now, now, how the weekly candle close on daily time frame, like Friday closing candle, will determine how the week as the power of three going to form. That is what is going to determine the day that we should be expecting the high or low of the week. For example, on this bearish week, we are expecting, let's say the weekly candle close bullish last week on Friday, okay? Let's say the week Friday candle close bullish. Now, now it is very, very much important that we don't skip this Friday closing candle, okay? Since this candle close bullish, we can't just clump to the week on Monday and then start jumping on the sale because the weekly direction is bearish. That is not how it is done, okay? So this is what I'm talking about. The fact that last week Friday closed bullish, all we need is wait for Monday to trade higher again, okay? All right? wait for monday to trade higher to the upside because the previous week candle closed bullish so we wait for monday to trade higher in, in continuation of friday direction now after monday candle has closed bullish then all we just need on tuesday which is the next day trading is for price to trade higher take out the previous day's high of monday price action and then trade lower for the rest of the day on tuesday after this thing is done like this then we know that, okay, the high of the week is formed, all right, in alignment with the direction, our original direction, okay? So our overall objective is wait for Tuesday to close like this lower, and then on Wednesday, we start selling to the rest of the week like this. We start selling to the rest of the week. Now, this is the first scenario, the first profile, whereby last week, Friday, closed against the direction of next week candle, okay? Now, most cases, you are not going to have this kind of profile. Most cases, you are going to have a profile whereby Friday candle will close in alignment with the weekly direction. For example, just as, as we're expecting bearishness on this week, Friday candle, last week, Friday candle, we close bearish, okay? And then on Monday, we start looking for opportunity. On Tuesday, we start looking for opportunity. For example, let's take a look at this current price action on Euro US dollar, all right? I'm not going to use this current week because like as I told you guys, this current week normally is supposed to be bullish just that we are anticipating the bearishness all right but let me use the last week price action last week price action is bullish all right let's take a look at how friday candle close you can see friday candle close bullish right here all right then on monday what should you be expecting continuously so at this point monday is going to form the low of the week you can see you can see that's what i just explained to you guys right now okay whereby friday close in alignment with the original direction of next week it is only this profile that most of you guys go to find it difficult that's why i started with this type of profile but if friday close in alignment with the direction come on guys it's going to be very easy just monday look for opportunity all right now let me quickly talk about this number four and number five because right now i want to trade this number session all right okay i'm recording this video this current day of this current day of trading all right so i'm going to be a little bit faster when it's named this number four and number five because i want to trade another session live with my mentorship student I'm, I'm i'm already getting dm on my telegram most of them already asking me what are we going to do today because it's just an opening time of london session all right so i'm going to be fast explain this number four and number five okay now this number four what this in actually means is that make sure your daily direction is in alignment with your weekly direction 
that is the key to get it right every week in the market okay for example if the weekly direction is bullish and your daily direction is telling you bearish i would advise you wait until daily direction is in alignment with the weekly direction so both of them bullish bullish it will be easier for you guys to trade and easier for you guys to you know leave the trade with peace of mind all right then entry very very important now you see we are in london session right here live and direct okay this is the opening time of the key zone. You can see my indicator is already aligning right here. Okay. Now at this point, I can't we can't engage this trade right now because, because this is just the start of this key zone. And if it's going to be a bullish day, this is going to be the low of the day. All right. For this thing to keep pushing to the upside. So I'm going to see wait a little bit further for confirmation before I can engage this trade right here on this London session. But it has to do with your original direction. All right. If your direction was bullish for this day. At this point, I think you should be looking for your entry, all right? But I don't think this is going to be bullish today. That's why I told you guys my entry is not ready yet, okay? But however, if actually I didn't see entry here on, on London session, this is the entry I can give to you guys that I am very, very sure. I can guarantee you guys that the entry star is this, you know, focus on this New York key zone. I have talked about, I talked about this on the last webinar I had with you guys, okay? Trade this New York key zone and trade it in alignment with the direction of the original London key zone. For example, it's move from here to this point so this is a, a a kind of rebalance or whatever but what you just need to do what you just need to do take your fibonacci retracement measure it from this low to this high or whatever level you want to measure it to and then take the trade during this new york key zone for example this current day price action if i don't see entry here during the northern key zone of course i'm going to come back new york key zone use that same strategy i taught you guys during the webinar and if you have not watched that video on that webinar session it's a very long video about one hour plus video make sure after watching this video go and watch that very one because it's all about ict entry models all right now a quick announcement i have for all you guys watching me right now if you have attended that webinar i did on monday this week you should have had me mention that this friday saturday i'll be hosting my mentor on my private mentorship program is a lifetime opportunity those two days we'll be discussing the road to financial freedom as a forest trader so if you're a forest trader you have been looking for opportunities you know to break out of this you know financial struggle and all that this is an opportunity for you guys enroll on the mentorship program right now send me a dm on this link you will have on the description part of this video regarding mentorship then join the mentorship program is a lifetime asset guys you'll be trading with me live every week back to back if you have a profit account come with your profit account if you don't have a profit account you can trade a broker account with me every week and this month of september is usually my best trading month of the year so there's a lot of opportunity for you guys the enrollment fee is still at discount mode so take this opportunity guys click on the link in the description part of this video regarding mentorship and then we send you the enrollment details you are going to join us 